I gotta tell that story real quick. I forgot about that. So, this is a story about Tasty Steve, myself, and Aris. And it's about the phrase, ain't nobody not there. Right? Ain't nobody not there. Um, so, we were up in Seattle for Northwest Majors, I think it was, like, two years ago. Uh, and we went up to Northwest Majors, and Aris was like, yo, I remember a dinner spot that we went to, like, two years ago. It was called, like, the Rooster or something or other. And it's like, great. And we're like, okay, let's find out what this fucking place is, right? And so it was called like Roost something or other. I don't know what it was, but Eris was like, the food is ridiculous there. So I was like, all right, we'll check it out. We'll go see what this place is about. And um, I was like, yeah, let's head on over and, and do this. So the first night was me. We went there two nights in a row. First night was just me, Rip, and Eris, I think, right? Was Ace there too? I'm trying to remember Ace was there. I don't remember who was all there the first night. I don't remember. But that's who I remember being there for sure. Because they were all in another... Uh, they were in another mindset, you know? Certain things about Seattle allow you to indulge. And no, it wasn't a Ruth Chris steak. It was just some local restaurant. It's like its own thing. They were in another state of being. It's another state of mind, if you know what I mean. Uh, they were motivated. And they had... a try sampled some of the local uh experiences that you can only get in seattle and uh yeah that's that's what happened yeah you can see the emotes in chat they'll let you know what we're doing so that's what i meant they were they were of another mind that night so everybody was a little, a little out of it except for me i was completely sober so we went to dinner and uh we rolled over there and at, when we were at dinner everybody was a little uh, a little out of it, and when we were eating, uh, you know, Steve was just chowing down, he was, like, Steve ordered, so there was this nacho plate that was meant to be an appetizer to share, so Rip and I split a nacho plate, and Steve ordered a nacho, another nacho plate, we thought to ourselves, yeah, we'll have two nacho plates, right, we'll have two nacho plates, that'll be great, Steve ate one by himself, and then he ordered, like, a, a side of tacos, and he ordered a burger, and so Steve was on some shit, right? It was crazy. And uh, while we were there, Steve ate all the, na the nachos, all the uh, tacos, and he was getting to his burger. And it was it was so much food, right, obviously, that Steve couldn't finish it. So I'm sitting there eating, and I look up, and Rip's across from me. And Rip is trying to eat these tacos, right? And he can't eat the taco because he's in another state of mind. He's trying to eat the taco, and like he like goes to eat it, and then stuff's falling out the back. So he like leans this way so that the taco doesn't like fall out the back because you know he moves his whole body sideways and then he tries to eat it and then when he goes to set it down like juice starts flowing out the back so then he like catches it the other way and like he's just he's struggling to eat a taco it's like the craziest and I'm looking right at him it's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life like he can't even do it and I'm laughing at him because he can't he just can't do it and uh, then I hear like I'm laughing at Rip and I hear out of the corner of my my earlobe. Steve say, I'm sorry. And I was like, Steve's apologizing? What is he saying sorry to, right? I can't understand it. He says, I'm sorry. And I was like, what? And I look over at Steve, and he goes, he's looking directly into his cheeseburger. Like, he's having a real eye-to-eye -eye with this thing, and he's saying, I'm sorry, burger. I'm so sad that I can't finish you. I'm just too full. He was talking to the cheeseburger. Eye-to-eye -eye with the cheeseburger. He says, I'm sorry, burger. I just can't finish you. I'm too full. And this is while I'm looking ahead of me and Rip is trying to eat a taco that he can't balance. It's like he's fucking... He's over there, <laughs> like, struggling. Steve's apologizing to his burger and Aris is just sitting there looking at us be fucking stupid. And I was like, what is happening? This is like the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. And uh, we were making fun of the way... <laughs> we were making the fun of the way that Steve speaks. And we were, and Eris was like, man, that was like a triple negative that you hit right there. He's like, it's just like, ain't nobody not there. And that made Steve laugh so hard. And you know when you're in that state of being where, like, somebody else's laugh makes you laugh? So Steve starts laughing, and he's laughing so hard that Rip is laughing at Steve's laugh. And then Rip gets so mad that Steve's laughing so hard, and it's making him laugh that he threatens Steve. Rip says, Steve... I'm going to leave this restaurant if you don't stop laughing right now. Or looking at me. And so Steve's like, alright, I won't look at you. So Rip has got his hat over his face so he doesn't have to look at Steve. And Steve's laugh is making 
Rip laugh, and Rip's like, I'm about to throw up because I'm laughing so hard. So he told Steve, don't laugh and don't look at me, or I'm going to laugh too hard and I'm not going to be able to keep it together. And then the meanwhile, Eris the whole time is just saying, shh, keep it down, you guys are making a scene. And he would say that once every like 30 seconds, and that's all he would say. That's all Eris would say, and he was just laughing the whole time. And it was just, it was a wild dinner, man, I'll tell you. It was one of the wildest, most fun dinners I've ever been to in my life. That's all I'll say. It was, it was too good. And that's all Eris would say the whole dinner. Shh. Keep it down. That's all he said the whole dinner. <laughs> he was like, he was like, <laughs> shh, keep it down. And he said that like 30, every 30 seconds. No, even if nobody was talking. <laughs> Man, Steve apologizing to his burger is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. I can't remember laughing that hard in my whole life. He was looking directly into the center of the beef, apologizing profusely. He was like, I'm so sorry, burger. I just can't finish you. <laughs> oh, it was good. It was a good dinner. It was a solid dinner. That, that was one of the best dinners I've ever been to, for sure. That's what it's like to hang out with these people, in case you guys are curious. These fucking people. I have to travel everywhere with them. Imagine trying to get these guys through an airport. It's the hardest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, Steve was definitely apologizing to his burger. And he had no remorse about it. I was like, Steve, are you apologizing to his burger? He's like, dude, I just can't finish it. I'm so sorry. The waitress saw him and was like, what the fuck is happening? He, it was, man, it was good. Even a walking there, they're like, we've been walking for like 30 minutes. Where is this place? And I was like, guys, we've been walking for five minutes. They're like, no, it must have been like 30 minutes by now. <laughs> it was a wild night. 